people welcome to Kimba's crafts my name is Kim and if you're new here hello welcome if you're returning welcome back guys love you so much we are here with a whip and chat I am doing tag questions I'm very late to this game uh, I know that people have been doing tag questions for weeks now <laughs> um, and I don't know the exact origin of these tag questions. I I thought it was Mrs. Coffee, and so I went on her channel, and it looked like she was tagged by a Michaela Renee. So I don't know where it goes beyond that. I guess I could have kept doing more research, but um, you know, I have I do have some time restraints. <laughs> but I was tagged by. Um, scrapping sylvia and the crafty diamond sylvia and debbie tagged me thank you both um if if i missed a tag i apologize um i don't always see my tags i i don't know why uh i it just i i get i miss them i i have so many alerts coming through all the time but uh, i did see those two tags so thank you very much and I wanted to do this whip and chat so I can um, tag and keep this going. So I am going to tag the Diamond Thief. She's a very, very new channel. Um, so uh, she'll be linked below. Go ahead and check her out. Uh, she only has two videos up so far, guys. Show her a little love. And I am tagging Crafting with Susie. I don't know if she's been tagged. Um, and then I'm gonna tag Stone Magpie. So I didn't see that she didn't have a whoop and chat with tag questions. So um, let's see if, uh, I don't know if anyone else has tagged her, but those are the three people I am tagging. I don't think that they've done this yet, but uh, yeah. So let me go ahead and go through my things here. I kind of already did this when I kitted this up. This is the SpongeBob and I'm loving it. I'm having so much fun with this kit. Um, it is a lot of color blocking. It is just what I needed, literally everything I needed in my life. I don't wanna stop working on it. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm loving the drills. It's a Diamond Art Club and the quality is top notch. Um, it does look like there's a lot of gapping, uh, but when you turn the light out, you can see it looks perfect. Um, but yeah, that's it, it, it. It's a color blocky thing, you know. You you still have to be careful with your placement with color blocking because it will, you know, misalign and everything. So I I still take my time, but it certainly is a lot faster than all those color changes. And I've just been enjoying the break from the confetti. Uh, if you are new to diamond painting and new to my channel and you don't know what the heck I am doing, this is called a whip and chat WIP work in progress. This is one of my work in progresses. It's SpongeBob by the company Diamond Art Club. It's from Nickelodeon. And um, when I say color blocking, it just means that there's areas where I don't have to change the color of the drill I am placing or, and or diamond. Um, when I say confetti, it means that in a small area, you're going to have a lot of different colors that you have to put in that area. Um, and when I refer to tag questions, because I know these are all the things that I was very confused about when I first started watching Diamond Painting YouTube channels. So apparently tag questions are when um, there is a list of questions that we all answer. And you can tag a fellow creator and usually you get tagged in. It's kind of like wrestling. <laughs> um, and so I was tagged by, uh, like I said, scrapping with Sil or scrapping Sylvia and the crafty diamond. And I am passing it on to uh, three of my favorite uh, creators, the diamond thief crafting with Susie and stone magpie. So they should be doing the same questions and yeah, it's gonna, you're gonna get to learn a little bit about all the creators, a little bit more. 
Um, so here I have what I kitted my SpongeBob up in. They're kind of all over the place. It is my Craft Mates Unlockables. This is my storage. And I put washi tape on and then I put my stickers on. So it comes off very easily. And I've been taking off taking it off on any of the like empty ones. And then um, I have my DP Gal Creation trays. Since SpongeBob lives in a pineapple house, I have my green and my tan tray here. And I have, this is what I put my trash in, a peanut lid. <laughs> I have my tweezers. I have my pen cutter, but I already did that part where I cut along the washi tape. And then I have just an Amazon pen with metal placers. It's uh, fruit slices and there's like a pineapple fruit slice in here. And those are the tools that I am using. I have my timer. So when I start, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the start button on that. Let me just grab these containers. All right, now I'm gonna zoom in and then I'm gonna have to there we go. Perfect. Okay, so let's get into these tag questions here. Let me pick a color. I'm gonna start my timer. I'm gonna start with the 310. I always love to start with the outlining, if there is any. And you can see how nicely they line up. So pretty. Okay, so first question. Ooh, how many diamond paintings have you completed? Well, I did not prepare. So let me, real quick, let me look that up. I can tell you right now, I have finished 32 diamond paintings. So I've completed 32 diamond paintings since I started diamond painting. And this year I have completed 13. So I'm not the fastest diamond painter, um, but and I but I do tend to do much larger projects. This is more on the smaller side for me. So, um, but I really like pretty large intricate diamond paintings. That's my daughter. She's using a blender. Her boyfriend's over and they're cooking. But I can't put this off any longer because I have to pack and get ready and um, go to the beach for a couple days. So I'm like be behind on videos. Okay, let me stick to the subject because there's a lot of questions here. So I finished 13 this year and 32 in my lifetime. How many diamond paintings are currently in your stash? I did count earlier and I think it's 77. Um, and that doesn't include, uh, what are they called? Budget friendlies. Actually it's 76 because one of the ones that I did uh, count was, was a budget friendly. So it's 76. I'm not counting the budget friendlies. I don't do them often. I've only done, I think two. Um, but yeah, 76 diamond paintings. And those are not, that does not include all the ones that I have started and haven't finished. So like my mystery painting, my meeting on the turret stairs, my life above the fray, and this one. I have four whips currently, and that number, 76, does not include those or my budget friendlies. So plenty, and I have to keep reminding myself that because lately I've been itching to buy something, and then I'm like, well, I'll use my points, and it's not like I'm spending money, and. Um, so yeah, I don't have anything ordered. I haven't ordered a diamond painting. 
Um, I didn't order anything in March. I bought one painting in April and nothing in May, June, or July. So I've been doing really well. I do have, I will say I do have promotional items coming, um, but I haven't like ordered any diamond paintings. Okay, so 76 in my stash. This is the longest winded answer <laughs> ever. I really hope you can't see my head because my hair is such a hot mess. I'm just like, I don't even know. It's like half up and half just everywhere. Okay, but I, I can't see if they're straight. <sighs> Let's see, that's two. Number three, when did you begin diamond painting? So it's been over a year now. I started in 2022. I started diamond painting at the very, very, very end of like the last day or the day before the last day of January or something crazy like that. And um, I started my YouTube channel like the third week of February. <laughs> I was just like, um, I'm doing this. I don't know why I got so ballsy, but I like, was watching the channels. I was obsessed with watching the YouTube channels. And because we didn't have to show our face, I was like, I just kept telling myself, I can do this. I can do this. And so, yeah, I had very little experience with diamond painting itself. And I decided to create a channel. And yeah, I don't think I've ever jumped headfirst into something quite so quickly, but um, I just knew that I would be doing this for a while because I just loved it so much. So here we are. <clears throat> I have Diet Dr. Pepper in here. So good strawberry and cream i like needed a little pick me up but i didn't want another coffee i know weird and so i decided um to drink one of bob's diet dr peppers <laughs> okay um if you could only purchase from one oh my god really kylie if you could only purchase from one diamond painting company for the rest of your life, who would you purchase from and why? Wow. So I know no one's ever answered this question and I am going to follow right along with that <laughs> because it's too unfair. Like, I mean, that's like asking someone if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? And like, of course, everyone's going to answer it and be like, pizza. But listen, on month three, the thought of pizza is going to make you want to puke. So I'm not answering that question because it's, it's not going to be fair. I will tell you that that uh, companies that supported me and believed in me, like Oraloa and Captured by Radiance, are very high up on that list. I have a huge like loyalty thing. So like, you know, they reached out to me and asked me to do um, sneak peeks for them and you know, believed in my work and my, they liked what they saw on my channel as a creator. And so they would be the number ones on my list. Um, because, yeah. And obviously the other obvious ones, which are Diamond Pain in Deutschland. I mean, I gotta have my max color canvases. And um, Diamond Art Club, of course. I'm doing it right now. I've loved every single one of my Diamond Art Clubs that it. Well, I didn't really. I was. I think one of my least favorites was um, Catching Dreams. But it was like. A, 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 on the smaller side of landscapes and around. So 
you know, if I had known, and it was like one of my first ones, so it's, I didn't know much about rendering and all that, but yeah, um, but I've loved pretty much every one I've ever done from them. I've done one Dreamers Designs, and I'm really itching to like either finish the, the Life Above the Fray or start another one. Um, really, really loved that. So Dreamers Designs, and I love a lot of their paintings. They, I've been on their site a lot. Like I have points and they have a buy one, get one 50 off. They have a lot of good, there's just so many of them. So, and then of course, Craftably, I've enjoyed, I, I love doing my Santa and the shine. So let's see. Number five, when diamond painting, what is your go-to media to consume? Audiobooks, podcasts, YouTube, etc. So up until very recently, sorry, excuse my head and my hair and my rat's nest up there. I'm sorry, but like, important <laughs> when you're color blocking that it's straight okay um so up until recently my go-to was youtube and like videos and videos and then i got into uh i was reading um some books and but i don't have a lot of time to read because when i do have downtime i'm doing this so I started listening to audiobooks on YouTube because they do have um, free full audiobooks on YouTube. But Crafting with Susie created a book club. And so now I've been listening to audiobooks. I, I've been even more so listening to audiobooks. And so that's been kind of my go-to um, media right now. I got myself straight with the library because I, I, I was a criminal in their eyes. I owed them money since like 2017. <laughs> and I was just like, I'm never going to go there again. Well, then... I downloaded uh, Libby, which is a library. Uh, you know, you can borrow books from the public library on Libby and listen to them. And, and so I downloaded Libby and they were like, you need to call the, you need to call, um, I feel like I'm not authorized. You need to call uh, and speak to customer service at your library. And it was because I owed them money. And so I paid the money. And then I needed to get my library card because um, it expired. So I had to renew it. And now I have access. I have like all these books on wait list and on hold. And I'm like loving it. So I actually already listened to <laughs> August's book in the book club and finished that and I'm listening I'm actually finishing July's because I read like I guess like one third of July's but like I said I just don't have a lot of time to read and I'm a slow reader so when I went to take it out to try to finish it before the end of July they didn't have any copies available. And then um, last night, one became available. So now I'm, I only have like two hours left in that book. But yeah, I've been loving the audiobooks. Long-winded, in the end, I love my audiobooks. <laughs> what is your favorite category of diamond painting to paint? Landscape, landscapes, fantasy, animals, etc. That's... <sighs> I don't even know, guys. I mean, what do you think? You've for the people that have been following along with me, what do you what do you I I don't even know. I feel like I do like landscapes. 
but I, it's not like I, I I don't feel like I've done a lot of anything really because I, I feel like I've done a lot of um, different things and so I don't feel like I have like a trend maybe fantasy I, I don't know I really couldn't tell you I, I don't realism um I I don't know I like whatever grabs my attention I don't know what that means <laughs> but I do like very intricate paintings I tend to gravitate towards colorful ones but I'm not opposed to doing like a dark one or I wouldn't be opposed to doing like a heavily brown one it, it's it just for me it's just like I just like whatever grabs my attention so I don't really know how to answer that I do like intricate things though I do like a lot of I like I like things that are busy usually as I do this heavily color blocked diamond painting but then I get I do I can get burnt out from that so I like to have a variety let's just say that um and I as much as I feel like I'm obsessed with animal ones I haven't done like I I did the eagle and the 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 dove in the captured by radiance with the woman and then I did the wolf but um I really want to do like an African safari kind of one and then I have my zebras which has really been calling my name I kind of want to do that one really bad but anytime I do an unboxing I want to do it so it's been it's been I'm I'm, I'm I don't know I'm confused <laughs> all right next question um what is the artist you have completed the most diamond paintings from? Well, that one is definitely Josephine Wall. And I've only done three from her. Well, four, if you count my um, story keep, my Heaven and Earth Design story keep, which was Iris, the something rainbow. I forget what she was called. The rainbow, the keeper of the rainbow. Um... Yeah, so four. I did I've done four from her. Um, what is the artist you own the most diamond paintings from? Again, it's definitely Josephine Wall. I don't have a lot of repeat artists. Um, like I know people like collect all the Hannah Lynn's or all the Jasmine Beckett Griffiths or like I I, I haven't done that with an artist yet. Um, I, I do have the most from Josephine Wall. And again, it's because of how busy her paintings can be. I like, you know, I feel like they're all so different and colorful. And some of them are, you know, heavily pink or heavily blue or heavily so I feel like they're all kind of different. Um, but yeah, I haven't collected from one artist like Chuck Pinson or sometimes I feel like, oh, I wish I started collecting this artist or that artist. And then I see how many paintings start coming out from them. And I'm like, yeah, I, I wouldn't have been able to keep up with that. <laughs> so I just, you know, buy my favorites from the artists. All right. Squid word. Um, let's see, what is your go-to wax when diamond painting? Well, it's definitely glue dots in my single placer. And it is definitely some kind of putty. And I have, 
I've been using pretty consistently now since crafting what Susie had recommended, uh, Gorilla Putty. I've been using that. Before that, I was using Quake Hold Museum Putty that Katie from Diamonds and Washi had recommended, and I used that. But I don't know if mine just got kind of more dried out or something, but it just didn't seem to be lasting as long after a while. And so I ordered the Gorilla Putty, and I've been using that ever since. So for the past months, I don't know how many months, I've been using Gorilla Putty. And yeah, I really, really like it. Um, I, I don't have, I have just a couple like scented ones and it's not that I'm opposed to the scent. I actually like the idea of scent, but I, I feel like they tend to be, and I don't know if it's because they've been manipulated so much or whatever. I do feel like they tend to be softer and, um, stickier because they're softer and like sticking to my drills and stuff so yeah I, I haven't found one that and I haven't tried a lot of them so um but I haven't found one that I like as much as just plain old gorilla putty so that's what I stick to and I don't know why I add so much detail to every answer <laughs> Um, let's see here. What do you do with your finished diamond paintings? Do you hang them, put, put them in a portfolio or something else? So the majority of my finished diamond paintings it, are in portfolios. I have two portfolios. I have like, I guess probably like a normal sized portfolio that has like foam poster board in between them. And I have, um, and I can fit like medium size and small diamond paintings in it. And then I have a huge one that um, actually got two pieces of trifold to make like a trifold poster, foam poster board. And I taped the folded parts so that it laid flat and I could lay very large ones like my unicorn kisses in there. Um, and I had them standing up in my craft room behind furniture. So um, I majority of them are like that. I have only two hanging up on my walls right now in my house. And then I gave two away as gifts. Um, actually I have three, I, I mean four, two, the one, the heaven and earth designs, um, a budget friendly, you've seen them all in my craft room. And then, um, one in my living room, which is my diamond art club owl, the yin yang owl. I framed that one day and hung it up in my living room. And then, you know, I gave out, I gave away a couple and I'm I have a few that I'm I need to frame so I do plan on having quite a few of them hanging in my house I just haven't done the ones that I bought with the intentions of hanging in my house so I have to kind of start concentrating on them And hmm, number 11, do you like to open your kits right away or do you keep them sealed until you are ready to work on? I actually keep them sealed um, unless I do an unboxing and uh, usually when I'm unboxing them, is when I'm ready to kit them up. I, I don't do a whole lot of just unboxings and it's it's um, more because I just don't have the time. Like I, I didn't have the time to do 
that the, all those unboxings with um, all the other videos that I, I was making. And so when I have a week where I don't have like a lot of videos and I'm caught up on making videos, I'll do, you know, a random unboxing. Um, and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to do an unboxing every week. And then the next week comes and I just don't have the time, to be honest with you. I mean, I just don't have the time. That's my dog begging. And a lot of the reason why I don't have the time is because, you know, I do diamond paint a lot of my downtime too. So I'm diamond painting, recording, you know, between work shifts and stuff like that. But I, I do like to spend a, lot, a decent amount of my time actually diamond painting. So, yeah. But eventually you will see all my diamond paintings. Okay. 12, what is your number one unicorn kit that you currently do not own but hope to one day? That has to be Off to the Ball by Hannah Lynn. <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you why. It's Diamond Painting Thief's fault. She was working on it during her first video. And I was like, that's so pretty. And I really wanted it. It was it was on my wish list. And, and then I decided, no, I don't need that. It's, it's a large square. It's another large square. And so then I decided not to get it. And then it was discontinued. And then I saw Diamond Painting Thief working on it and I was like, darn it, why didn't I get that? So I have been literally every day looking on the D stash sites to see if anybody lists, lists it because I will probably buy it from them. But, and then I've also thought, is there anything I wanna trade for it? Like that it, um, I'm still thinking about trading my Ann Stokes. I saw it. Someone showed me the the Ann Stokes mystery, and it's really cool. Really cool. So then I was like, I was pretty much ready to trade that for something, and then I saw it, and now I'm just like, I'm not sure if I want to trade it. Um, so I've been back and forth about that. It's been, I'm not sure, but yeah. So bottom line is off to the ball by Hannah Lynn. I think it's adorable, very colorful. It's kind of like right up my alley and I don't have a lot of Hannah Lynn's. I only have one, I think. Um, 13, what is the kit in your stash you are most looking forward to working on so i don't know there's so many of them what's up oh hello baby you miss your mommy all your blankets are clean mommy Um, <laughs> her bed's clean. So, um, a month ago it was To Hold a Star by Anki Moore and Jaded Gem Shop. And that's still pretty high up there. I don't know. There's quite a few of them that keep calling my name. Uh, and I just, I don't know which one when I'm ready to start another one is going to win. You know, things change like it was to hold a star, but, um, this one was also calling my name. And then after all the confetti I did, this one won. So like, it just depends on 
also what's going on, what what I've been doing a lot of recently. You know, maybe the the color isn't going to maybe the color is too close to what I've just been working on and I'm not I'm not feeling it. And so I'm going to want something different and like in this case, like it, I think I believe it it's going to be pretty confetti heavy and that was the last thing I needed was another confetti heavy project on top of, you know, the meeting on the turret stairs that I still have going on. So, yeah, that's why this one won out. So it just depends. I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. It, they, they're, they're all always calling my name. I just don't have enough time. Um, so yeah, this is how I do. <laughs> I'm like a two year old. I get distracted very easily, but this is how I do color blocking. Like I try to like make sure they're lined up. trying to make sure that we don't get off course with the alignment. Okay. What's next? That was 13. 14. Do you prefer confetti, color blocking, or a mix of both? Definitely a mix of both. I love color blocking. I think that it, ha it, it definitely adds an element of, you know, shading and it brings like texture and stuff to to your paintings and that when you have like an all color blocking painting it will make it look cartoony hence all the cartoon diamond paintings are all color blocking <laughs> right because uh, cartoons they have a 2d look they don't need a lot of texture so um like this one right here and my tom and jerry and you know the sesame street ones they're they're very flat and that's because they're made to be that way so yeah i like a mixture of both because too much of it um while i've done majority color block I mean confetti canvases you need something on the side to mimic a mixture of both so that you don't go crazy so but if the one painting has a mixture of both then you don't really need anything on the side it's perfect right all right how do you pick which piece you want to work on next I think I kind of covered that it's like what's calling my name and you know does it have elements of something different um definitely what takes priority is if i get an idea for a gift for someone then that will automatically take priority and i've been thinking about making a painting for a coworker. um so i've been going back and forth i almost bought it last night um, so I might, I might do that actually. Uh, she's having a party in September and I thought it was for her birthday, but it turns out it's not for her birthday. She's just having a party for the coworkers at her house, which is so cool. And so, but I thought it was her birthday. So I was like thinking about making her this painting for her birthday and then I found out it wasn't her birthday <laughs> but I still think it would be a nice you know gift to give her like a thank you gift for having this party for us so she lives on a farm she owns horses and so it was a horse painting and 
yeah, I'm still thinking I'm probably going to do it. So if I do end up doing it and buying it, you're going to see me kitting that up next. So there's that. And other than that, it's, it's just whatever's calling my name. Sometimes it's because I want to do a specific company. And so I'm like, okay, well, what, which one do I want to do the most from, from that company? So it might be the company that's calling my name and then I'll pick out of what I have. So it's always different. And let's see, how do you, okay. 16, what is your favorite season holiday to diamond paint from? I guess I'm going to say, I don't know. That I can't 100% answer that question because honestly, I've only done fall. I did a Christmas canvas, but it was Santa Claus. So it's not like I did... Um, like a scene, a scene, a scenic holiday Christmas painting. And I did the autumn oasis. So the, I did fall. I haven't really done like a beachy summer one and, and I've been dying to do one. So I don't really know. Um, I don't, I can't say because I've only done one, so it's hard to say. So immediately my thoughts are autumn and fall because that's really the only one I did, but it's, it's just kind of by default. I would have to do more of them. I don't feel like I'm giving you guys straight answers here. <laughs> it's like I'm being interrogated. Alright, so 17. Do you work on one kit at a time or have multiple whips at once? I have I have multiple whips at once. And when I first started diamond painting, I never thought that I would do that. I, I thought that I was a one, one kit at a time girl. And it would stress me out. And it does kind of stress me out sometimes when I think about having too many whips at a time. Um, but... I prefer it. I do. It, you definitely get, I feel like you definitely move faster when you concentrate on one at a time, just because you well, or you feel more accomplished because you get, you finish them faster because, well, it feels like you finish them faster. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I clearly am need to just stop talking, but okay. Next question. <laughs> Um, 18, neutral dark pieces or colorful pieces? I've answered this like multiple times. Colorful pieces. I want to try a neutral painting, but colorful pieces. I, lo I love me some color. So I make sure like, can I make sure it's even? Okay. Um, let's see. 19, large pieces or snack size? Large. Uh, another reason why I'm a slow diamond painter. I'm trying to keep an eye on that and like rear in or, the, you know, reel in buying too many like very large pieces. But all the ones I like, I, I mean, it's... It just, they just happen to be bigger. Like, I just gravitate towards that. So, not knowing they're bigger, I gravitate towards the images that have to be rendered larger. Because I like a lot, I like busy, busy images that have a lot going on in them. And so, you know, for rendering reasons, they have to be larger so it's just what I like all right let's see here 
place diamonds with tweezers or a pen. I, um, I wouldn't even know where to begin with tweezers. I'm lucky I don't poke my eye out every time I have to tweeze my eyebrows. They literally think that they're partially witch or wizard if they use tweezers to place these diamonds straight. I'm, I don't know. I think that they have a little bit of magic happening going on. I'm guessing they have like unicorn hair in their tweezer or dragon's blood. <laughs> I, I don't know how that, that is even possible. So definitely a pen. And square or rounds, I prefer squares. I prefer squares. Every time I do a round, I'm like, hmm, they're very pretty. But I prefer, I, I think I just have more fun placing squares. So, there's that. Um, what is your favorite me method for placing AB drills? Honestly, if I can get away with, like, if my glue dot and or putty is old enough and I can just use that, I just use that. I don't change it out. If it's too fresh and it's sticking to the coating, um, I don't notice that it pulls the coating off so much as that I can't get the drill off of the putty. I will um, use pink wax but I prefer to just keep using whatever. I prefer not to, to switch it out at all if I can get away with it. And most of the time I can. Uh, what is your preferred method for sectioning off a canvas? I definitely, pref I used to be a huge release paper girl, but I like washi tape now. Um, I was just always terrified of cutting my cover and cutting through on the canvas. I was petrified of doing that. I saw someone post like help, look what I did. And ever since then I was like, oh hell no, I am not doing that. That'll be me. But it's, I feel like it's pretty virtually impossible to do with a ceramic pen cutter. And people said that and I was still scared, but I finally just, the bullet and just tried it and yeah it it is kind of a, I mean you I, I would imagine you have to like be put put like leaning all your weight into the pen <laughs> um you know and I, I don't push hard you just you don't need a whole lot of it's just plastic so I do the washi tape and I line it up one row at a time. I don't washi tape the entire project because I like to finish whatever section I uncover before getting up. And um, this way I can, and I got this idea from Nurse Rachel. Uh, this way I can section it off according to how much time I have. So if, if I have to go back to work that night and I woke up and I only have, and I only want to diamond paint an hour because I need to go back to sleep and take a nap or whatever, then I'll section off a small, small space. So I'll put a line and that'll be the row. And then I'll put this piece, I'll move it over however far I think I have enough time to finish. And yeah, I'll do that all the way across. So I'm not locked into a section. I can build my sections whatever size I need them. And that works out really, really well for me because I don't like to open up a section that I don't finish. I don't know why. It's just something in my brain. 
And then I also like the idea of matching my washi tapes. It's just more reason to spend more money, I guess. Because <laughs> the release paper I would just use over and over and over again. Do you have any other crafty hobbies aside from diamond painting? Well, you guys know I do crochet and I really like to crochet, but I like diamond painting more now. So that's, you know, I'll do crochet when I go away and I can't pack a diamond painting. Like I was doing crochet when I would take Bob to doctor's offices and stuff, and you can't really take a diamond painting. So I, um, I still have not finished my pink hat because, yeah, I haven't really gone anywhere where I can do that. So, um, who do you tag to do this video? I did that in the beginning. And then bonus question, if you still have it, show us your first diamond painting you ever completed. I do, but I'm not pulling it out. I'll put a picture of it up here because I showed it in my um, year in review because I started diamond painting last year and I don't feel like moving my furniture. <laughs> And finding it and like opening, like, I don't feel like doing that. I'm sorry, guys. But I will, um, I will just take a screenshot of that video and put it here so you can see it. It's uh, Diamond Dots Galaxy, um, like space, outer space by Diamond Dots. So, yeah, and that's it. That's all the tag videos. I almost finished this section here. I'm sad that I didn't finish it. See, even though it's a lot of color blocking, I still move kind of slow, I feel like, for, for such a large color blocking area. And you can see most of these drills are good. That one did have a foot, but most of these drills are, are pretty awesome. Very colorful, very bright, vibrant, very bright. So, all right guys, I guess that's all I have for you. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this section off. You guys have a squid word wonderful wonderful day if you liked this video if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out and if you want to see more from me go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Kimba's Crafts I would love to have you you guys have a wonderful wonderful day take care keep diamond painting